the world's biggest aluminum foil ball. Yui. 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 And today is a special day because today we are going to be making the world's biggest tinfoil ball in the freaking world. Today I got Dustin on the camera. So and I need a favor from you guys. For every foot of tinfoil that I use, I want at least 1,000 likes on the video. So say I got 100 feet of tinfoil. I want at least 100,000. We want 350,000. Okay, that's too much. I want 200,000 likes on this video right now. If we can hit that, I'm not going to fail today. It's going to be fun. Successful as hell, and we're gonna make the biggest ball you've ever seen. So obviously, if we're doing the world's biggest ball, we're gonna need at least four of these rolls of frames in foil because that can make a pretty big ball, right? But what about this one? Okay, but what about this one? And what about these five? How about these ones? Three, eight, eight. eight. What about this one? And those ones? And this one? And that one? Okay. This one? And that one? And any of these? Okay. You done? And how? So basically, I went to Walmart, completely wiped out their whole tinfoil section. I didn't just get one kind. I got the 100 foot rolls. I got the 250 foot rolls. These things are heavy as hell. I got the great value 25 foot rolls because you know what? We don't discriminate on my channel. You gotta get what Ryan Sways can afford. We got the 50 foot great value rolls because I, I don't even know why I got this. And last but not least, to wrap everything off at the end, we got the 25 foot heavy duty rolls. These things don't fuck around. These things are said to be strong enough to hold a bullet, okay? So you don't wanna fuck around. Pull the bullet? Yeah, like you can shoot it with a bullet and it'll bounce back and shoot the shooter in the head. It will hit them in the head every time too, accuracy. So unfortunately, the ball is going to be too big to do in this kitchen, so we're going to have to move downstairs. I know you guys love this kitchen, but let's relocate right now. So of course, we're not just going to need tin foil if we're going to do this. We also need, and I'm just going to demonstrate, we have a metal pole. You ask why do we have a metal pole? Because if we're trying to wrap quick, we can slide this metal pole inside and then unravel this as quick as possible without burning our fingers. Because if you just have your fingers in here, it hurts to unwrap quick. We got a rope because we're going to attach a rope to the ball so that we can pull it. Maybe we'll attach it to my car. We also got extra tin foil that's been used. This is from Dustin's video and my brother's video. So you know this stuff is strong if it's still lasting. We got that. So this is where we're gonna be doing it. We have a table right now. So to put this in perspective for you guys, we calculated how much tin foil we have. So we have 3,950 feet, which translates to about 1.3 kilometers of tin foil, which is almost a mile for all you American people. So this is basically a mile of tin foil. That's a lot of fucking tin foil. Let's get started. So we're obviously gonna start with the shittiest one. We have the great value 25 feet. Nobody likes these. The boxes are already falling apart. Like this one's already open. So why do we have these ones you say? I don't even know. I literally got them for my boy Ryan. So shout out to him. So we have three of these rolls and this is how we're going to start with one tin foil ball because you need a nice core. Rip it off, crumple it up as tight as possible because we want this to be a tight, heavy ball. So all the pieces of tin foil we have is going to be wrapped around this one core. Let's time lapse a bit. First roll down and the ball is already this big. This is only one 25 foot ball. I definitely bought too much. Three great value 25 foot rolls down. Time to move on to the great value 50 foot rolls. So guys, we've done a few rolls, but right now, as you can see, it's already getting harder to compact. It's hard to get tight. So basically Dustin went upstairs, got the mallet. Go ahead, bro. Yes. That condenses it so much. Bro, we're making steel balls. Other side. Guys, this literally I shrunk have the a size. Solid core. It's in half now. It's half the size. But goddamn, is that tight. I wish I was Knife Wolfie, but. Mallet Wolfie will do. <laughs> this is a solid core. Okay, just try to make it. Oh, it feels like a rock, bro. It literally feels like a rock. We're not even halfway down the rolls. This is what the ball looks like so far. It's huge. It's very dense, okay? There is not like an ounce of air in there. It's fucking hard as a rock. I just hit it and my hand is now sore. So I'm gonna let Dustin take over for a bit. He just started and then I'm gonna come back nearing the end and then we're gonna have some fun with this ball. I got this metal pole going in here so it just rolls smoothly now, guys. As you keep doing this, you get better and better and you learn the small things that help you do it faster. So this is helping us do it way faster. The last update, guys, we duct taped this wall right here because the table was so sharp and it kept ripping the tin foil when we were pulling it. So now look at how smooth this process is going. Okay guys, so we're about like 60% done. This is the size of the ball right now. It's huge. Just to show you a comparison, I can't even wrap my arms around it. It's a fucking big ball, but I keep cutting myself. So I'm leaking heavy here. There's blood drops outside right now for me wiping my other cut. So two cuts so far on one hand. So there's one right here, guys. I put on a glove recently because that's just like fucking put on a glove. So this is the glove I'm using now. Don't try this at home. This is dangerous. How do I get cut in every video? Like, ah, 
Ow. Okay, so we're almost done guys. We're literally finishing up on just about the last layer. The ball is right there It's absolutely massive and the strategy we chose to do now We took it off the table because it was taking too long We're rolling it all the way down there running back unraveling it and then doing it again So I'm gonna time lapse this part, but you'll see how fucking much work it is the ball is heavy as hell Okay guys, so we just finished wrapping with almost every single roll. We only have the 25 foot heavy duty rolls left, but those are just to make it look pretty. Those are like really nothing. So here it is guys. Here is the biggest ball of tin foil in the world. Oh my God. It's so heavy guys. Bro, how much do you think that weighs? Honestly, if I had to guess, I'd say around 543 pounds. Anyways guys, we're gonna finish wrapping up with these ones and then I'll show you the final reveal. So here it is the world's biggest aluminum foil ball. Can you hear me? Oh, 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 I was just shook. Look at how big this is, guys. This took three hours to construct. We used every inch of aluminum foil. We didn't waste anything. How much does it weigh? Everyone wants to know how Why much this thing know weighs. Much it weighs. Leave a scale, leave a scale, eh? Yeah. Oh, it right. says uh, 543 pounds. Yep. Like so time to fuck around with this ball. So the first thing everyone wants to know is does it go down the stairs? Well, I got an answer for you. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. It goes down the stairs really quick. Yo, know I mean? Oh! Hey, try not to destroy my house. Seriously. I thought that was a hole. What is this? That wasn't even that. That was there before. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah, that was Zach. That wasn't even me. So we're good. I don't know if you guys know, but I used to play soccer in my day, and I had a pretty strong kick. So you want to play pass, Dustin? Yeah, yeah give it to me. Right, yeah, here you go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. This is heavy. It's coming. You want me to raise it? I can raise the ball for you, bro. That was a stretch. That was a warm up. Holy shit, why is it so light? Okay, bro, if you can reach me right here, then this goal is accomplished. Hey, this is going full blast, guys. Smash the thumbs up button, because if I break my leg, it is what it is. I'm doing it for the wolf then. This is as hard as I can possibly get. Oh. Oh. Hey! Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, look at the dent. <laughs> the leg is so sore. Look at that so dent though. That is a nice soccer kick dent. My foot is gonna be on fire tomorrow, I'll tell you that. Bro, so, your whole leg hit it. So uh, Dustin, you wanna break some fruit with this? Obviously. Oh my God. Get out of here, Apple. Get out of here. Apple, no more. Let's move up to the squash. This thing, as you can hear, it's hard as fuck. This thing's like the coconut. You think I'll break it? Ah, uh, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, that's my tin foil ball. Let's go out of here, bro. Oh, my phone. Oh, you're good. You know you're what? Good. Well, my phone's down here. Tin foil ball, iPhone 7. Fuck it, bro. Okay, guys, this is 542 pounds straight up in the air. I'm going to attempt a keg toss up to my balcony because I want to throw it off, but why carry it up the stairs when I could just throw it up first? Get my form ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> God, no. I almost broke my wrist. Oh my god, that's so heavy. We need to reevaluate how we do that. Luckily, I've been working on my squats. We're going three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh my god, it almost killed me. It, it almost it broke the, the whole railing. Thing. Okay, we're just gonna walk up the stairs. Oh yeah, look at that. Instant coke to ice. You think I got the accuracy? It's a pretty big ball. Let's do that. If I smash this coke, you guys better smash that like button. And I have faith in my ball, it's not gonna break right here. So here we go. One, two, one. You eat. Oh! Smash that like button! Look at that freaking dent in the ground. Bro, you this, this thing is buried. So let's go tie it to the rope. We're roping the ball up right now, and then Dustin's gonna hold on to one end of it, swing it at me as hard as possible, and then see if I fall on the ground. I'm taking a hit again for the wolf fam. I died for you guys. Got like 17 cuts on my arm in this video. This has been a struggle. Can you hit a little bit? That up okay guys, so Dustin has the wrecking ball. We're doing some practice runs right now. I'll go to get smoked. Oh my. No, no, no. Right. Two. Three. One. Oh. 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 You gotta stand closer. Like I'm literally standing to my death right now. Two, you're right here. I'm doing it again. I tried some of the Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, 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 o
If you guys missed it, I literally broke it trying to escape the wind. Guys, it's hailing. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's oh hailing. God, you gotta wait, Mom. I can't do anything. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, no. Okay, so as you guys can see, this ball was throwable, kickable, carpullable. So basically, it was everythingable. So now, what I'm gonna do, just to prove to you guys that this ball is 100% aluminum foil, no blankets, no nothing, I'm gonna cut it open. So I'm gonna try and beat it open with the mallet, and if that doesn't work, yay! Oh, yay! My fool is coming out. So we're not gonna go shy on this ball because this ball has been through a lot. Okay, the mallet's doing work. Ah, my finger. The harder you hit it, the stronger it gets. <laughs> we gotta bring the knife out, guys. The mallet is not gonna work. So which one do you think? Butter knife? Bigger than that. Okay, bigger than that. I have this knife that I use for the thousand degree. No, 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 we need that for the Bigger than degree. that? No, no. Okay, I got a butcher knife. Uh, that's a good idea, but a bigger. Bigger, bigger than that. Okay, I got a big butcher knife. Yes. Perfect. Bro, it bounced off. It compressed it and bounced off. It's only getting stronger. <laughs> it's only getting stronger. Yay! Bro, it does nothing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, bro. It doesn't dent. It doesn't dent. The butcher knife is too weak. Usually, cutting stuff open is fun to watch because it's really satisfying, but this doesn't cut. There's a layer in there that will not move. Oh, it sounds so bad, bro. I don't even know what that sound is. The texture. So I was losing all hope, and then I found my go-to knife, Knife Wolf. You already know! Just come open already. Come on. Let's loosen it up. Let's get in there, guys. Ugh, come on. Bro, there's so much tinfoil. Okay, guys, so as you can see, what's inside? A lot of tinfoil. <laughs> you can't get in there. You can't get in there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This took me so much time. So you better have gone down and smashed that like button, guys. I want at least 200,000 likes. Unbreakable, unstoppable, unrippable ball. This thing's indestructible. But also, something else. I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Just Dustin on the camera. I love that. So if you wanna see some more bangers, go to his channel. Link at the top of the description. YouTube.com slash Just Dustin. You already know what it is. And comment down below what other giant things you want your boy Wolfie to make. And I will do it next time on Giant D. I love fun Wolfie. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon with another banger video. And as always, stick savage. Let go. Yeah.